Welcome to the Oasis, my name's Mike. They say the best things in life are free, and that's certainly the case when it comes to VR games. In this video, I've handpicked some of my favorite free VR games, along with some demos that will satisfy both newcomers to VR and VR veterans alike. I've added links to all the free games in the description below, so all you need to do is click on a link using your phone or desktop browser, log in with your account, and then the game will be added to your Quest library, so next time you put the headset on, the game will be there, ready to download. It really is that simple. So, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's dive in. I'm going to kick off this list with one of my favorite VR shooters, and that is Pavlov Shack. This is a fast and frantic 5v5 online multiplayer shooter featuring eight maps, seven game modes, a co-op zombie mode, a solo practice mode, private lobbies, and they've just recently added a World War II weapon set. In terms of VR shooters, Pavlov is one of the best you can play in VR right now. The Pavlov Shack beta will be free to play until the game officially launches, so get in there and have some fun for free while you can. If shooters aren't your bag and you're looking for something a bit more relaxing, I got you covered with Bait. It's a super chill and fun solo fishing game where you have to catch and collect a variety of fish to earn cash and help the local aquarium. With four different lakes to fish in and a handful of characters to interact with, this game will have you totally hooked. Next up is Half Plus Half, a unique and quirky social multiplayer game. It features a handful of fun experiences and mini games to explore and play online. My personal favorite is the hide and seek mini game where one player is a giant who has to seek out the other players who have been shrunk down to just two inches tall. It's really great how they play with scale in this mini game and they cleverly change the players' voices to match their size, which makes it even more hilarious. Definitely one worth checking out. Next up is an awesome VR experience called First Contact. If you're demoing VR to friends and family for the first time to show off your shiny new headset, then this is one of the best experiences to show them as it's specifically made for VR newcomers. You get to interact and play with an adorable Wally -E style robot who will guide you through a series of short, fun activities. It's a must try VR experience as it provides a magical and unforgettable introduction to virtual reality. If you're looking for a more mature social hangout, then PokerStars might be the game for you. You can sit down and play classic card games like blackjack and poker with players from all around the world, or you can just chill and play on the slot machines. Don't worry though, there's no real money involved, so you won't get carried away and accidentally clear out your bank account. There's loads of interactivity with props, chips, and cards, making PokerStars stand out as one of the best poker games in VR, and it's free to play. Next up, I have another online multiplayer shooter for you called Gun Raiders. This free-to-play VR shooter will have you climbing, jumping, and jetpacking around a variety of arenas with online game modes such as Assault, Control, Team Deathmatch, and Free For All. Players are rewarded with in-game currency that can be used to unlock gloves, weapons, and player skins to make you stand out from the crowd. It's fast, frantic, fun, and most importantly, it's free. One of the Quest's unique features is that it has built-in hand tracking capability. An Elixir is a magical hand tracking experience where you can try it out yourself for free. In this short experience, you become a sorceress's apprentice and you use your own hands to interact with the environment. What I love about this experience is watching other people play it for the first time and seeing their reactions when their hands transform into tentacles and Wolverine-style claws. It's absolutely priceless. Next up is Rec Room. It's a classic VR title with limitless possibilities. Rec Room offers an online social experience for the younger VR adventurers, where you can jump into a number of different game modes and activities with other players across multiple platforms. You can play paintball, embark on a quest, jump into Rec Royale, which is a battle royale mode, race in Rec Rally, or just hang out and make new friends. There is so much content to enjoy in Rec Room, it's crazy that it's still free to play. Once you've had enough of Rec Room and you want to escape the screaming kids, there's nothing quieter than the vast empty void of space. In Mission ISS, you can explore a VR recreation of the International Space Station and feel what it's like to become an astronaut. You can learn about the space station, dock a space capsule, and even venture out on a spacewalk. 
This is an incredible experience, but just bear in mind, being in zero gravity, spinning through space, is just as intense as it sounds. So please, take it easy with this one. Back on the ground, this next game will offer an interactive experience with your very own virtual pet called Bogo. You can freely move around the virtual play area if you have enough physical space in your own play area. You can feed Bogo, play fetch, or just give him a fuss. It's quite short, but it's another great experience for those that are new to VR or just looking for chill experiences to share with friends and family. But if you've had enough of your family, you want to reject humanity and return to a simpler life as a monkey, well, you finally can in VR with Gorilla Tag. This hilarious online multiplayer game of tag is just pure joy. You have to swing your arms to run, climb, and fling yourself around the map to be the last monkey standing to avoid infection. You're guaranteed to have an absolute blast with this one, and it's a real workout to boot. If you only download one game from this list, it should definitely be Gorilla Tag. If you're fed up of shooting guns in VR and you want to unleash your inner Legolas with some archery combat, then Hybo might be the game for you. It has a handful of online multiplayer modes and maps with a range of different bow types to suit all sorts of playstyles. The highlight of the game is a 10 player battle royale mode, so if you want to play out the Hunger Games with bow and arrows, then this one will be well worth checking out. Next up, let me introduce you to VR Chat. This one's going to be more suitable for an older crowd as VR Chat can get a little wild at times. Here you can embody your own custom avatar and open portals to explore various worlds like the Great Pug Pub to hang out and meet new people. Each time I've ventured into VR Chat, it's been a unique experience. This is one of those free apps that you can easily spend hundreds of hours exploring. If you're done chatting with people and you just want to destroy everything in sight, check out Battle Talent. It's a physics-based action roguelite where you get to fight your way through hordes of challenging enemies with various weaponry. This one's great for letting off some steam, but just be aware of your surroundings. You don't want people thinking you're a complete psychopath, and you also don't want to get too carried away and break something. Next up is Echo VR, the ultimate VR esport and one of the most popular games on the Quest. Think Ultimate Frisbee meets Zero Gravity, and that's Echo VR. It's a very polished game that has a highly competitive scene with a passionate community of players. I'd highly recommend checking out the Discord server to find like-minded groups of players and to pick up some tips along the way. It's one of those games that's easy to pick up but difficult to master, so if you're a competitive player looking for a thrilling experience in VR, look no further than Echo VR. And last but by no means least is Big Screen, the future of cinema as we know it. Big Screen allows you to hang out with your friends to watch your favorite TV shows and movies together in your very own huge virtual cinema. With loads of user-created rooms to suit every niche, and now the app has official paid movie events for some of the best movies in 2D and 3D, it's every movie lover's dream. 3D movies look incredible in VR, and I would urge any movie fan to check this one out. So that's some free games, but before I wrap up the video, I also want to highlight a few demos that I've also added links for in the description below. These are demos for some of the best paid VR games you can buy, and you can try them out here for free. The demos include Beat Saber, which is a must-own title for any VR gamer, one of my personal favorite VR games, Super Hot, a VR arcade classic shooter called Space Pirate Trainer, a VR boxing game based on the movies called Creed Rise to Glory, and finally Tea for God, a unique VR game which cleverly adapts to your own physical play space so you can freely walk around in VR. All of these are great demos to give you a taste of some of the best games VR has to offer. Okay, so that's some awesome free content to check out on the Quest. The final thing to do that's also free if you enjoyed the video is to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all my future VR content. Also, let me know in the comments below which of these titles is your favorite, and also let me know if you have any of your own free VR game suggestions. I'd love to know in the comments down below. That's all from me today, so goodbye for now, and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.